How should you interpret an agent's price guide? Agents aren't meant to underquote, but they will try to quote the lowest possible price because they want to generate competition. In Queensland, agents are prohibited from giving a price guide or range on properties that are advertised without an asking price. They can only discuss comparable sales that have been approved by the owner. But in every other state and territory, agents have strict rules around providing price guides. Mm. But these rules still don't ensure that the guides are accurate. Generally, what is meant to happen is that the agent provides examples of recent sales that compare with the property that's being offered for sale by auction. But the definition of what's comparable is open to interpretation. (laughs) Now, they're not meant to quote more than 10% less than what the owner hopes to get. But this can be quite a rubbery figure. And if the vendor rejects any offers throughout the auction campaign, the agent then has to adjust the guide and can't quote less than what the vendor has refused, which is why some agents discourage offers. It's tough. So you simply can't add 10% to whatever the agent says and think that's what the owner will sell for. Why? Because agents don't always quote in exactly the same way and sometimes they actually get their price estimate wrong. Yeah. Or the owners insist that they quote a high price. And if you add a blanket 10% to every price guide, you'll overpay sometimes and you'll be underprepared for some other auctions. Want to be an educated first home buyer? Check out our online course for first home buyers. Avoid costly mistakes, make smarter decisions and get into your first home sooner. Why waste time doing things the hard way?